Welcome to sunny Spain and welcome to the Triumph Adventure Experience España. With confidence, Martin, with confidence. Scary. Are we? Okay, brilliant. Thank you very much. Love that. It is day two. I'm outside the Triumph Adventure Experience Espanol. Uh, today we're doing our day two of our training. Yesterday we spent all time within the uh, Triumph facility learning how to ride the bikes properly. That's our beautiful little tigers there. Today, they think we're ready. They think we're ready to head out onto the open trails. And basically we're going to be exploring all of the national park area uh, around the Malaga, all the mountains. So really excited. It's not quite so hot today. A little bit less humid maybe. Uh, we've got Womble here. Unfortunately, his luggage still hasn't turned up. We've got to collect his luggage at the airport before we go home. So we're going to have to pick up his bags and then check them in straight away again. So yeah, poor old, poor old chap. He's having a stinker. He's having a stinker. So here's my fine steed, Tiger 900 rallies. These aren't the pros, these are the non-pros. These don't have the quick shifter blippers, but they have the full travel shower suspension. 240 millimeters of travel at front, I think 230 at the rear, uh, and the loader ground clearance as well. These are really capable bikes off-road. I was really surprised yesterday, actually, how, how capable these are, certainly with the ground clearance and stuff. And Womble's got the white one. Womble's got the white one. What did you think to the bike yesterday? Oh, it's, it makes you feel good, doesn't it? It's makes you feel good. And confident. Just gives you confidence, doesn't it? I was totally. Yeah, first of all, when I first got on it, because I've ridden the, you know, the Suzuki, uh, new Suzuki V-Strom, I was like, oh, it doesn't feel quite as natural to stand up on. But once you're standing up properly, you as you should the be. seat height as well, can't you? Yeah, it's adjustable seat height. Mine's, got, got, mine's got the tall seat on it, actually. Mine's got the short You've also got the short, yeah, so mine's got the tall, but... Now, once you're on it properly, it's such, so, so much confidence. And hopefully today, I don't know what they've got in plan for us. I think, there's, I think they're planning some, maybe quite some challenging trails. I don't know. Let, let's see how we get on. But uh, there's the bikes. I thought it was familiar. We've been here before. This is the road to El Burgo. We've been here with Linden before. This is an incredible bit of road, this. Absolutely gorgeous bit of twisty tarmac this is. <laughs> Absolutely. That's why I've seen so many bikes. This is obviously a really popular popular bit of tarmac. Okay, looks like we're turning off. Hitting the off-road stuff now. Right, here we go. Tarmac has run out. We're now on the dirt. One of the most impressive things about this bike, which is just amazes me, is the, the rear foot brake. Obviously, when you stood up, the foot brake's got to be in a different position to when you sat down. Well, on this, you pull it out, twist it, and it's now sits higher for when you're going off road. So you just pull it out, move it around, like, twist it back again. That's 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 the on road position with the brake a bit lower. Want to get off road? That's now the uh, it's now higher now. So when you're standing up, you can find a rear brake still. Brilliant! I've never seen another manufacturer do that. You can only have a wee, there's no time for a nervous poo. So we want off-road, not the pro, which gives us a little bit of traction control. No ABS on the rear, but a little bit of traction on the rear, but dialed back. Yeah, we're ready, I think. Unfortunately, we've got no intercoms, but of course, we've Womble's lost his luggage and his helmet was in his luggage. Along with the uh, along with the intercom, oh, I remember everything I learned yesterday. Fingers lock on the body, cover the rear brake. Get your body position, lean forward, lock your legs. Try not to die. All right, basically Antonio says it's a bit dicey this trail because there's a sheer drop. So look where you want to go, not where you. Look where you want to go, not where you not want to go, basically. We're at the playground now, and this is the real business. That was easy. Was that what they're worried about? Ah, no problem. Where's Wombo? He comes. Come on, Wombo! There okay, he looks good. Position looks good. 
Look at that. What a master. Scary? <laughs> Scary already. <laughs> He's gone out there, hasn't you, all of a sudden? I'm not saying much because I'm so frightened. All, all of a sudden, yesterday seems like a long time ago. Leaning forward, bars wide. It's all about locking the legs. That's what I wasn't doing previously. I wasn't le locking my legs properly. So then everything wasn't working. Look where you want to go, don't get drawn into what's in front of you, you know, choose your line and then I want to go up there, I don't want to go off the edge. Going up here, so of course leaning into the, leaning into it, but legs completely locked around the bike. So then I'm loose at the top of my body's loose, you see, I can move, I'm not, I'm not rigid. Man, they're zooming off. Do your own pace, son, do your own pace. Why does it look so cool when you people see people do it? But when you actually do it, it's so frightening. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm going to cry. Okay, don't look... Jesus, you've seen the height of that. <sighs> Try and stay loose. Try not to get tight and, you know, you get arm pump. You wear yourself out. Try and stay loose. Loosey-goosey. <sighs> Stop looking in front of me. Choose my line and stick to it. Don't look down, don't look down, don't look down. <laughs> look at that. Man, that's shot off. I didn't think I was going that slow. I must say, the guys, Antonio and Alan, they're, um, oh, what, what brilliant instructors. Absolutely give you the confidence and you know, the feedback they give you. You know, it really encourages you, you know, little pats on the back, you know. It seems silly. But when you're sort of out your comfort zone, that, that makes a real big difference. And I think it's like the best tuition I've ever had, if I'm honest, you know. I don't think I've had tuition like it before. You know, this, yeah, this is just a little fire track. Fire track. You're not doing anything too extreme here. But these are big, heavy bikes. It's not like little Enduros, you know. What a way to see the country sort of coming off the beaten track a little bit like this. If only we had sort of more more like this in the UK, you're outside of Wales and Scotland, obviously Wales and Scotland. You know, you're lucky you've got loads of this shit. Just look where you want to go. Don't look at the rocks, look up the road. The bike can handle it. Don't worry what the bike can handle, it can handle it. No need to look at it. Right, looks like we're slowing down now. Oh, on the back. <laughs> Not used to staying in that position for, for a long time. Oh. Okay. We go round. Okay, do. Just a bit of a tight turn up ahead. Right. <laughs> Hold your horses. Where are you going? This one pushing in. I was here first. Yeah, come on! Uh, piece of bloody cake! How are you finding it? I'm a little bit scared, I'll a bit be honest. Scared. Yeah, a bit scared. <laughs> Not gonna lie. It is a bit scary, isn't it? It looks a little like nothing on the camera, but it's yeah. like Ooh. It's like sheer drops as well off yeah. the edges, isn't it? Like I'm a key side stuff, don't look down, don't look down. This is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. Maybe I want a bit of first gear here actually. Yeah, knock it down first. If it's gonna get a bit gnarly like that. Bloody hell, 20 kilometres of this, I'm going to be... I'm going to be bloody knackered, I tell you. Right, don't look at those rocks. I'll choose your route. Yeah, it looks like I'm going this way. <laughs> Suspension's so good. It just goes over it. Absolutely just goes over it. <laughs> uh. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, you will not get to see views like that unless you get yourself on a bit of dirt. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. Jesus, that's a sheer drop. 
that's a sheer drop. So the idea is you're gonna oh Jesus. Yeah, it's time to slow up a bit. Poor old wobble, he's he's shitting himself. <laughs> oh, don't look right. Choose your line, look where you wanna go. So your body naturally twists then if you're sort of turning your head in your upper body. Sort of follow around the corner. Gorgeous. 26 degrees up here, it's a bit cooler, it's about 30 down, down in the towns. Put the most off putting thing of all. It's a drop. It doesn't matter how much you'd like to look at it, you can still see in the corner of your eye. Uh, why do I let John talk me into this stuff? I don't know where Womble is. There's no sign of him yet. Humble! There he is up the top there. There he is right up there. Yeah, you've reached the top, son. Well done. And then I just look at that up there and I'm like, are you for real? Nice and slow. It's not a race, is it? Come on. Oh, my back is hurting. I'm a lower back. It's not enjoying this position. Wow, look at that. We just keep going up and up and up. Oh, the back's starting to hurt, I know that much. Oh, my back. <laughs> I could do with a little stuff, Alan. Uh, it wasn't too bad, but it's still scary, isn't it? <laughs> it's scary, man. Look at the views, unbelievable. You wouldn't get to see views like that if you stick to the tarmac, that's for sure. There's only one way you can improve that view. What's that? Put you in it. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, uh, have a look. Have a look at that. That's absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Is there, is there more like this, Alan? Is there moving on from here? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's more, more the same, or is it different? It's the same. Yeah, 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 yeah. We need to cross all these mountains. So yeah. It's about 20 kilometres, you around said. Around 20 kilometres, yes. 20 yes. kilometres of this. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it feels like I've just done 20. It feels like you've done 20 already. <laughs> Bit scary, one boy, is it? I don't know why you're right. I didn't use the brakes. <laughs> you want to go fast enough? <laughs> All the way up, I'm like, we've got to come back down this at some point. Yeah, the other way. <laughs> is it up and down, I guess, all the way, is it? Or you're going to have to go up and down lots. <laughs> it's going to be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Onward to the next. Stunning view. Poor old Womble. He's a little bit nervous, I think. A little bit scared. Remember your training. Oh, wow. Look <laughs> down there. Well, don't look down there. It's probably the best advice. Oh, there's a bit of a rock here, look. A bit of a rock slide. Ah, Jesus, look at that. I should have checked. John might have been under that. When do we have a go out and go? Be achievement not to fall off. Where today am I? That's all I'm worried about. Where's one ball? Where is he? I don't want to get overconfident and go too fast. Up there in the corner, don't cut down the edge. Oh wow, another great, massive, incredible view. Look at this. Top of the world! Ah, you can see him coming. Look at that down there. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not slow and steady. Huh? We'll take you so long. <laughs> How long have we been up here? Good half hour. Just up half hour. Onwards and downwards, please. So if you're interested in doing this, I'll put links to the Triumph Adventure Experience Spain. Of course, there's one in Wales and there's one in Spain. So the Spanish one basically caters for the European market. So they've got riders from Netherlands. I think they speak about six different languages, the uh, instructors, or they've got instructors for different languages. So there's Dutch, you know, there's all sorts. So this is to, the one to come to if, you know, if, if you're in Europe or if you're in the UK and you want to get a bit of sunshine. You know, Wales is great, but it can be a little damp at times. So uh, if you want a guaranteed some nice weather or as guaranteed nice weather as best you can, this is the one. And they also do fantastic trips around Portugal, Morocco. They do bike hire. 
as well so you can just fly over with your wash bag and you can hire the kit you can hire the bikes and you can head out for as long as you want riding and the bikes are all brand new triumphs you know immaculately maintained they've got the scramblers as well they've got the 1200s and of course the 900s and then they've also got the gt versions the road based versions if you want to just stick to the tarmac so they basically do everything and the pricing for what the trip me and womble have done like the two days including hotels is about 850 for bike hire hotels transfers a couple of meals out with the guys as well 850 quid 850 euros sorry so which i don't think really is too bad there's no waiver on bikes you know so there's no um huge excess to pay if you drop the bike you know it's, you can you can destroy the bike and it'll cost you nothing if i can do this anyone can do this come on you've seen the videos before <laughs> oh yeah 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 it's just these bits look at this bit here Look, that end of that road, you just oh, don't even talk about it because it makes it worse. Literally, I can't afford to shit myself. I've only got one pair of underwear. I don't even know. Do you know I'm talking because I am so nervous? <laughs> uh, I mean, there's a bloke walking. Oh, well, where? Where's he come from? Where's he going to? I've just, we just. He's not going to get a newspaper at the top. There's no news agents. Where are you going, buddy? Doesn't even look like he's got a drink with him. John says, and oh, what take me so long? Mate, I'm talking in the views. Do you know what I mean? I'm not going to do this every weekend. Yeah, there's no point in rush rushing. You'll miss all of this. Do you know I may mean? not ever see that stone again. I hope I don't. Do it there. Show off. No good showing off now, we've been waiting here 10 minutes for you. <laughs> As I said to the camera, I was like, you don't, you've missed all you've missed all those we'll views. Missed all the views, rushing yeah. rushing along. I was explaining I might like, not see that stone again. <laughs> Take it in. Take it in. <laughs> Taking the views. Bit of tarmac now, mate. Bit of tarmac. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, this is a natural spring here. I don't know what this says, but you can drink it apparently. That's what they told us anyway. It's probably come straight from his tap inside there. You got a swallow, it's no good spitting. You, you got a swallow, you got a swallow. Wash your cacks again and there. Uh... It's the luggage collection. He's going to be reunited with his luggage. Hopefully. Look at that hair, I've not seen a hairbrush in uh, three days, that hair. Same pair of underpants on, the state of those cacks. Has she gone to fetch the luggage? Has she gone to fetch it, David? Are we going to see your Oggio bag appear around the corner? The luggage. She's going to meet us with the luggage. I see it, Dave. I saw it. There it was, through the glass. I can feel an emotional reunion coming on here. You see it? Oh, there it is. There it is, Dave. There's your luggage. Oh, wonderful. Service with a smile, look. Happy? We've got to go and check it in now, we've got to go. <laughs> check it back in again. It's been open. Well, what have done, haven't it? We've everything in it. Oh, the way it matches your hair. Oh, he's happy now. Yeah, he's happy. First time he's first time he smiled all weekend. 